So you've been asked to do a Control-D download. You don't know what that is, you don't know why it's needed, and you don't know how to do it. Well, you've come to the right place. This is John Daniel, in-service engineer for Honeywell Aerospace. So Control-D download is an FMS memory data dump that allows us to see the FMS mode that was engaged in the time of the event, altitude, airspeed, and it's different memory bits that the engineers need to correlate to your failure. So we use this data along with the pilot report and maintenance observations in an effort to find root cause. Now, it is important to note that the Control-D is not a magic wand, but it does help us to get to, hopefully, root cause much more efficiently. So with that said, let's get to it and do the download. To start the procedure, we recommend using a blank USB. If you do not have one available, you may use the same USB that you use to do your navigation database load. Note that no files will be overwritten, and this procedure will not impact future loads. Insert the USB into the data loader, and then turn the data loader on. Allow the data loader to complete its self-test. This occurs when the light stops cycling between the FMSs, and it stops on the left side FMS. You may start the procedure from the left FMS or simply select the data loader to the FMS that you're starting from. With the media now installed into the data loader and the data loader selected to the FMS we're working from, we can start the procedure. Now note that you do not have to have your IRUs aligned, nor do you need a present position. So let's get started. So from the NIAV IDENT page, which is your power up page, you select maintenance. Also note that you may also select the NAV, the next, then maintenance to get to the same maintenance page. Then next, from the maintenance page, select setup, then engineering data, and then you will select debug. You should see a save CTLD, or otherwise known as save control D, at the bottom of the CDU. If you don't see the four options on the left side of the CDU as shown, this means that either your data loader is not turned on or not selected to the side FMS that you're on. In order to correct this, either turn the data loader on, select it to your side, or you may have to further troubleshoot. If you need assistance in correcting this issue, contact Honeywell and we'll be more than happy to help you. Once you select Save Control D, you may see no disk installed or a check data load scratch pad message. Either of these messages will indicate that either the media is not installed in the data loader or the media is not properly formatted. If you observe this, Honeywell recommends that you use the same media that you use to do your monthly navigation database update. If you need assistance with this or the previous issue of the data loader not being obscene by the FMS, please contact Honeywell and we'll be happy to help you further troubleshoot. Select Save Control D. Next you will see Opening Capture File. This is the start of the procedure. Next you will see Saving Control D. This is your indication that the FMS is downloading data. Saving Control D will be present until the FMS is complete. You must wait for this to complete. Note that if you decide to abort the capture, at any time, it will not cause any issues with the FMS. Once saving IMT buffers is displayed, you may safely abort the capture. Honeywell does not use these files for troubleshooting. However, you may let it download completely and there will be no issues. I'm going to select abort capture and I'll return to the debug monitor control page. This is the same page it would return to if it saved all the IMT buffers. In order to do a complete analysis of any issue, we need the data from all the FMSs. So to download from the other FMS, you need to select the data loader to the other side and repeat the same process. If you have a third FMS, select AUX on the data loader and then you can download it. 
Note that this process does not overwrite any data on the USB stick and can be done so without installing a new USB stick.